Mama. Hello friends and viewers on the interweb. I am Isel, this is my second vlog. Uh, if you watched the first vlog, it was a catastrophe. The audio balance was crap, really. And I really didn't do <coughs> know what I'm doing. It wasn't going very well. I hope this second vlog will go better. I have tested the audio balance this time. And I think everybody should hear me uh, over the game audio. Shouldn't be any problem this time. The game I'm playing is uh, the Unstoppable Gorg. It's a tower defense game influenced by uh, 50s B movies, sci-fi B movies. Uh, it's the first time I played it actually. Like I said on my last vlog, I, my goal is to upload a uh, new content each week and this week I actually managed to do that. I uploaded several new posts to my website uh, to both, both uh, languages. English and Hebrew. The first new thing, ma the, the major thing that happened this week, ooh, I got achievements. <laughs> the major thing that happened this week uh, is that I bought a Nintendo 3DS. So uh, yeah, I, I got a Nintendo 3DS and uh, I made a, um, an unboxing gallery of it with uh, plenty of pictures of both of the box and the paper uh, work that come with it and the device itself and some of, the, of its screen and so on uh, you can see the, the device uh, I'm holding it now uh, and later after the unboxing I uh, wrote uh, uh, like a, a first impressions post uh, very detailed uh, it wasn't based on uh, game experience, since I didn't have any game at, at the time. I uh, just downloaded some demo via the Nintendo eShop. Uh, it's a really cool device, I really like it. It's very comfortable to use most of the time. Its user experience is great. And uh, now I got uh, my first game, uh, Pokemon Platinum. Uh, I'm having a great time. Uh, the other major thing that I wrote about this week is the upcoming Israeli uh, gaming convention the next month called Draconicon. Uh, it's one of several gaming conventions held in Israel each year. It's a one-day convention uh, focused on um, tabletop gaming, role-playing games, uh, board games, miniature games, card games, uh, all of all of that stuff. Uh, I'm going to attend this convention. I'm um, running three uh, three sessions, uh, three role playing sessions, uh, two of which are going to be an introductory sessions to Marvel heroic role playing game, uh, it, which is a, a really cool um, narrativistic role playing system that lets you play Marvel heroes like. Uh, Iron Man and Wolverine and Thor and all all that good stuff and I'm going to introduce it to new player in the convention uh, the third session I'm running is also using Marvel Heroic role playing game uh, but not uh, held in, in the Marvel Universe it's going to be a game based on the Mobile Suit Gundam um, anime series um, it's not going to feature any of the actual Mobile Suit Gundam uh, universes or characters. I'm going to create um, a universe, a Gundam universe of my own. I'm going. <laughs> I think I'm going to lose this round because I suck. Um, yeah, I really suck. Uh, like really I was bad. saying. I'm going to run a, my own version of Mobile Suit Gundam. I call it Mobile Suit Gundam Wizard. Uh, the basic premise is that you are playing uh, genetically engineered soldiers that can control machine with the, your mind. And you are, you are Gundam pilots, not Mobile Suit pilots. Uh, you are kind of the, the underdog, you are the only... 
you are uh, the, the only hope uh, of your faction. Um, your uh, army is losing on all fronts and you need to save the <laughs> save the world actually from a, a, a tyrannical biological computer and that's the basic premise and it's going to be really fun um, the other thing I did this week was uh, sitting with a friend of mine on a new a new game concept we we are trying to develop it for for uh, the to be a computer game but uh, the first thing we do is sit with the concept offline not touching a computer we print it out uh, uh, game maps uh, and try to play the game ourselves uh, to see if it's fun if the mechanic wo works and so on uh, and the first thing we discover is that the mechanic doesn't work and it's not fun at all so we change it and the second time around it was it was more fun it uh, wor it worked worked better uh, and we're going to keep to keep trying and uh, working on it uh, until the concept makes sense and and we will start tr trying to build it uh, for real <laughs> on a real computer uh, using um, a system, a uh, um, development system called called Unity, which is a cross-platform uh, system. You can develop game for the PC, for the uh, for Mac OS, for uh, iPhone, for Android, all that stuff. But that's a long way off. Uh, it's only but the beginning. Uh, we we need to make sure it's a f it's a fun concept, it's a fun game. We need to test it and test it again um, before we even start thinking about uh, doing something more. And the last thing I want to talk about is the King of the Web con contest. King of the Web is a is kind of a popularity contest that's uh, held every two weeks and people uh, campaign for themselves to be uh, the new king of the web um, uh, I, I got involved in this concept because uh, people from the game station uh, are uh, running every time for this content and they always uh, most of the time they donate uh, the proceedings to charity and that's really this awesome. This time uh, the, the game station is uh, running Row uh, to be queen of the web and she's going to donate all the proceedings to Habitat for Humanity and she's just uh, 100,000 votes away from the first place and I really hope she wins. I pledged all my 150 something votes to her. Uh, I'm losing really badly here. I really don't know what I'm doing in this name. I lost, yes. And that's it. I just wanted to make you know. I'll put a link in the description. If you want to help donate seven and a half thousand dollars to Habitat for Humanity, go and vote. And that's it for this time. We will finish in this big defeat screen. Have a nice week.